In this video guys we are starting over with a brand new account and obtaining every single new unit in the anime defenders update. Alright guys so a new anime defenders update and this is my first time playing the game however with the new update they came out with 4 new units and in this video we're going to be starting off with a level 1 account and obtaining every single one of the units so we're going to just press on summon here and basically they've came out with I think 2 new mythic units plus one secret unit and then also all these like legendary units every new account i make i do have 200 gems so basically i have like three to four spins so we're gonna be basically hopping accounts until we actually guarantee at least a legendary to start off okay see we get nothing here but we can also accept this quest here and then we get a decent amount more so we have 60 more of course we get nothing we got the four rares there which is really really dreadful so all i'm gonna do guys now is i'm just gonna keep on spinning until we do at least get a legendary on this account and yeah i'll catch you guys then all right so you know what we got an epic and you know we'll just keep with an epic of the new unit uh this one here okay the blood demon we're just gonna equip it and we're gonna equip this one here too we have three units we have luffy slash straw hat and then these two so we're gonna go straight into the game i've never played this game before so i'm actually really really excited we're gonna go straight to windmill village and confirm and we're gonna start straight away i am guessing we won't need any new units so far because we have some decent units right now we have some decent units and it's only level one so we should not be struggling all right okay they come from here literally nine damage and how much does one of my characters do Okay, she does 14, so we, we should be fine for now. All right, okay, so we've dropped every single one of the new units here. We've got two of these guys, and we're just decimating every single one of them. They have 12 damage. We do around, like, this one does 14, and this one does 16, so we should not be that bad. I'm just hoping the boss is not too overpowered. And now we've unlocked one of the new abilities, and it's a blood, uh, blood mines, and they actually look so, so clean. Okay, like, really, really cool. Look at that. But that is actually really, really nice, and she does now... She does 66 damage, which is not bad at all. All right, and we are approaching the last and final wave. I'm just hoping the boss is not too strong because we're not really struggling that much with these guys. But if the boss has like 1,000, 2,000 HP, I do not know if we can take him down. And speaking about it, he has 1,444. And please, just we at least do some burn and blood damage too. So that's really, really good. But I'm just hoping we can be able to kill him before anything happens. And I'm not going to place any units just yet because we might not be able, we might not need any. I'm just going to upgrade this one here to blood mines. And that should be able to kill him. The boss is going to go around anyway, so he's going to die regardless. And you know what, just to speed up the process, we're just going to place this guy here, upgrade him. And he should die from the burn damage. Yes, he does. To be honest, that was not that difficult. It was okay. And we got 110 gems plus okay we've got 80 gems plus the 30 that we normally get so all i'm gonna do guys now is just gonna complete the windmill village one which is six rounds i think and yeah i'll catch you guys after that okay, so i'm pretty sure this is the final story mode of this i think this is more of like a i'm pretty sure this is one piece base but this is our last one and is this gonna kill them no they're not so i'm just gonna have to sell one of my characters and yep and then place it back and yep okay so we've done all of this so far and i think we've managed to get a decent amount of gems and yep i want to get the beast sorcerer also the standard i have looked at our guide because i don't know how to play the game we, we want to get a bulma and she's not on the thingy so far so we're just not going to do it and we're going to go straight here and okay we can buy 10 for this you know what i'm going to cheat a little bit and i'm going to buy vip just so we can get a 20 percent discount so now if you click again it should be cheaper yes it is okay i know it's a bit of cheating but you know what just help me out a little bit we're just going to buy the vip and i do want to get a legendary please Okay, we did get a shiny there. Now we've got another epic, but that was about it. Okay, how much gems do we have? I've, oh, we have 800. Okay, we can do another one. Okay, we can do another one. That's actually perfect. Okay, I think we got the, the best one we got is an epic. Is this? Yeah, but this last one's going to be epic. And we don't have any efficient gems. Okay, so we've done all that. And we just get didn't get any good units unlock. And okay. We did, I think we got a shiny. Okay, yeah, we got one shiny, but that's literally so, so bad, man. No. Um, you know what? I'm going to tell I spend my next 80 or just wait until I get another... You know what? We're just going to wait until we get another thingy. Because these... these I can't lie. These are very, very trash. You know what? I'm going to spin again. I'm going to spin. Just I want to just get one uh, a legendary, please. Okay, all right. We finished every single one of our gems. And we basically got shafted. We got nothing new. So I guess we're going back to the story mode. And now we're going to Mob City. Alright, okay, Mob City. We really need a Bulma, like a, like a Yen farming unit, because that's going to help us out so, so much. Okay, they only... Oh, 9 damage. That's actually very, fairly, fairly nice of them. Right, and the last and final wave. We're going to get a boss here. 
And I don't think, to be honest, first waves, I don't think they're going to be that strong. Yep, he has a thousand HP, and there's no chance that he gets past here without dying. And yep, he is basically dead already. Don't say this, he got a second mode. Okay, he does have a second mode. Okay, perfect. Wave 15 complete. Oh, never mind, he does. Wait, what, what am I? What just happened? Why is he still there? But, anyways, 110 already. So, I'm just going to keep on doing this until we complete the mob city one. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Alright, guys, so we haven't completed the mob one yet, but we do have 700 and 98 gems which means we can buy a 10 and i only did this because i kind of do need a little bit of help so getting a legendary pity will be very 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 useful to me and yep as you can see there we got a legendary as you can see from the flare and that is going to help us out a lot because we basically only have two characters right now and we got the cursed archer which is perfect which means now we've also got a risky dice from the quest that we just completed however look now he does 15 damage hey, yo 15 damage is not good However, it's still better than my Luffy that I literally don't use at all. So I'm just going to equip this guy here. And now we can go back to the story mode that we were doing. Alright guys, so after grinding a little bit, we managed to get to level 8. Which means we were allowed to use every single new slash old code. Which managed to get us to a cool 5,000 gems. And also, if you've noticed, we did manage to get Bulma. She was in the shop. I spun for her literally once with 50 gems and I managed to get her. But now we have 5,000 gems, which basically guarantees us, hopefully... Hopefully if our luck is good, we can get a muscular sorcerer so we can actually be very, very overpowered. I think, you know what, I am just gonna, I'm gonna purchase this. I wanna see how lucky I can get with three times luck. We have around like 10. We can do this probably at 10 times this multi. So I'm hoping, okay, we've got a legendary straight off the back and see straight away. We've got a legendary, which is not bad. If we get shiny legendary, that'd be really, really cool too. And is that shiny? No, he's not, okay. I thought, I thought that was a shiny, but come on. Okay, we got, an, we got an epic from that. That's the best thing we can get. We got a shiny there too, which is not bad. Come on, game. Please, bro. Oh, another epic. Man, that's actually so horrendous. Another legendary. Not bad. I think we have four more, if I'm not mistaken. And that's another legendary, right? Oh, that's not good at all. Basically, one more, and we just got shafted. Completely shafted, okay? That is that is not good at all, okay? Oh, got shiny, we got shiny blood demon, which is not bad. And we need 22 more gems so we can actually get another one. Expires in 44 seconds. So do we... You know what? I'm just going to buy literally just solo ones. Just see if we can actually manage to get a mythic from this. Your boys look was so good that we just managed to get rares and epics, okay? Wow, that was literally the worst thing I could have done ever. To be honest, that means when's our pity... When's our next pity? Our next pity. Okay, we can actually get it in 200. That's not bad at all, to be honest. We can get it very, very soon, I'm hoping. But yeah, we got some good units, to be honest. I'm not struggling that much with the story mode. And we've already cleared four chapters. We just need to complete this one and then this one. To be honest, there's no point of showing you guys these because I'm guessing you've already like seen them from other YouTubers. But we're going to do these two here until we get to the Swordsman Dojo. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so we managed to get another 3,092 gems just from completing some stories and stuff. And I am kind of struggling on the last story mode of, I think, the Blue Planet one. So we do need a mythical here, please, game. I am going to purchase this again because it just feels like I'm going to get lucky this time. And purchase. And with this one, we have like seven multis that we can actually get something from. And of course, the first one, we don't get anything because that is just, we just get an epic, which is very 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 nice okay please we do definitely need a mythic here we got a legendary which is not really that good a huge shaft again bro this game does not want me to get any any mythicals you know what? i'm gonna just spend my last few just maybe get something and the last and final one yep we get a nice nice lovely blue and bro i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to complete uh this raid because i am struggling a lot like i get him to like around a thousand hp and he just doesn't die afterwards and the last and final one, we need to get Mythic here. Oh my god, they get another blue, that is horrendous. I'm just going to try and hopefully complete the story mode, and I'll catch you guys after we've basically got enough gems to spin, or when we actually, like, progress properly to the story mode. Alright guys, so last wave of the underwater, I think, I forgot what it's called, but it's the underwater act slash story mode, and I just wanted to come back just to show you guys what I'm working with right now. To be honest, I don't know how I've managed to get to this part with just these four literally but they're actually not bad to be honest these characters i think the only character that's actually carried me properly is surprisingly the rare character the fire swordsman is by far my favorite character out of the ones that i have so far i mean i do have no mythical characters nor the secret unit so i'm just working with basically just like 
normal units here. And I'm just going to put him here. But this is what I do so far. I just do this and then I put Bulma. To be honest, without Bulma, I don't think I should. I would be nowhere near here. Like Bulma is literally very, very, very useful too. Just literally max out. After we place all these here, we just max out Bulma. And then after that, we just max out these guys here. Get them to their next move. And then also place this guy here. This guy's also not that bad at all. He's also kind of useful. Just because he has like blood damage and stuff afterwards. Alright, now that we've maxed out our Bulmas, we're just going to unlock all these blazing edge moves and after this we should basically be good we should be able to complete it especially this map is actually very very nice because it wraps around here again so that means this guy here will basically do double the damage because once they come back here we'll be able to do more damage if that makes sense i'm gonna place another one of these and i'm gonna unlock his last move once we do get enough money and this guy does like 500 damage too which is not bad at all all right and we are going to the last and final wave. Okay, I don't know how much HP the boss is going to have, but I'm hoping it's just not going to be that much, please. Okay, already coming out with people with 2.9 thousand. Hey, you know what? I'm going to place these guys here too. I might as well and unlock all of her moves. Just so she can help us out. Alright, there we go. And now we've wasted all of our money. And okay, it's only got 7,000. It's only got 7,000 HP. There's no way he probably has a round. Has he got a thingy? Second mode? He probably does. I'm guessing. No, he. Oh, no, he. Oh, he does. He does. He does. Why did it just say? Okay, wave is complete. You know what? I'll take it. But he has a fine. I can literally see there. He had the final one. But okay. All right, guys. So another six. We can do another six of these. This time, I am not going to be spending any money on those stupid potions that literally give me zero zero luck. But yeah, we're just gonna spend these six. Hope we get a mythic, but probably not. Okay, we got two legendaries. Basically similar to a mythic. And nothing again, okay, this is, this, our look has been so, so bad so far, it's actually been dreadful, I think we're gonna get it in our pity, I can't lie. Alright, that's three down and nothing yet. This one, we only got a blue, that is crazy, oh my god. I, bro, I don't know when I'm gonna get the mythic, man, this is actually gonna, oh, it's so irritating, okay. And a zero, 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 look, okay, we get, I mean, we've got one more, another blue, okay, that's not good at all. But yeah, guys, we're gonna go back to the story mode we are level 17 now which means we can go to the trading section and keep on like trading with people and stuff but we're not going to do that yet we're going to do that of course later when we need a bunch of gems for the secret unit but now we're just going to keep on doing this and yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit all right guys so i grinded afk overnight and i managed to get 4.5 thousand gems which means we can summon for another i think yep another 11 so we basically guaranteed a mythic before the uh, basically because of the pity but you know what We've got absolutely shafted there already, I can already sense it. But we are guaranteed a mythic, finally, finally we can get a mythic. That has took me way too long, it took me till the pity, which is crazy. Alright, another legendary, we're getting some decent legendaries here, which is not too shabby. And this should be the pity. And okay, I see how it looks like, okay, that actually looks cool. It looks like a bit of rainbow at the end. And the pity, muscular sorcerer, he does 108 damage. And he actually, oh, he's got some good, good statistics. To be honest, there's no point of spinning anymore until we wait until the other guy. Let's check if the sand band is good. Oh, pink rockstar's there. I do need pink rockstar. Apparently, she's really, really good. And we got her straight away. Perfect. Okay. She's like one of the buff units. And I do want a buff unit. I've got two pink rockstars. That's not bad at all. And yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. Units. And we've got this guy here. Goated guy. And I'm going to un unequip. Ah, I don't know who to unequip this one. Oh, hit. I'm gonna equip her and I'm gonna equip him and also okay we need to get to level 20 once we get to level 20 we can also use rockstar oh we got a bullseye with her what is a bullseye okay what okay we got a bullseye what, what trait is a bullseye is it rare okay 2.5 percent that's not bad at all you know okay did we get any other traits with anyone else no but she's okay I actually take it okay she does really really good she's a farm unit of course but we're not gonna use her until we of course get to level 20 but yeah guys we're just gonna carry on doing the story mode i just want to come back just so we can actually get our guy and yeah i'll catch you guys in a bit Alright guys, so for some reason I decided to just spin off camera and as you can see there from the clips that we just got, we got two shiny legendaries back to back which is actually very very good and we also managed to get our guy Beast Sorcerer without even a pity which is really really amazing which means we can say bye bye to our MVP the Fire Swordsman because of course we're gonna have to take him out and put this guy in because I cannot lie 
we do need some help um, especially with the swordsman dojo one at level 5 we do need some help but before we do that I think I am going to feed um, this guy a lot of food so not this guy this guy here gonna feed I'm gonna just add up everything because why not and feed there we go got him to level 37 so now he should be doing way more damage just 455 he does more damage than our muscular sorcerer and we can also evolve the units which we are probably gonna do later on right now we're lacking um the, the like the stars and stuff that we need to evolve the units with so we're probably gonna like gather them up later on in the video but so far we've literally got every single unit except for the secret unit and for the secret unit we're gonna need that around like 200 300 000 gems just so we can actually get the guy so we're gonna have to gather a lot of gems up and i have been watching many videos and stuff so after we like complete the story mode i'm probably just gonna grind so so much just so we can actually get it but let me just get this over and done with and just... but yeah this guy is very very good especially when you evolve him to his like maximum he actually is full aoe which is really really amazing so max you can place this guy is four and this guy i'm pretty yeah, is three so this is actually a very a very very good lineup just gonna just keep on upgrading these guys and yeah these guys do a lot of damage so i'm hoping this time you can actually fully kill the boss all right moment of truth wave 15 are we able to kill the boss there's just like so much explosions happening but please, please make me... Like, I've literally got a new mythical unit. I should be able to kill the boss here. Okay, this is the boss. The Souls Master. Bro, hit him. Hit him quick, quick, quick. Okay, I'm going to use my Rockstar, I'm guessing, just so I can get a buff. Okay, hit play. Use Rockstar. And play. Okay, we played it and everything. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to kill him, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yes, we are able to kill him. That's actually really, really good. So, that Beast Sorcerer was a very, very good addition to our team. I think we are able to kill him. Yeah, I'm just going to hit him with Wind Cutter. And there we go. Wave 15 complete. And I've actually nearly completed the whole entire story mode. I only have one story. Alright guys, so I managed to grind a lot. Just AFK grinding. And I've managed to get 8,000 gems. And we're going to go straight into spinning. We have a really, really small chance of getting this secret here. But you know what? We might as well try and hopefully succeed. Maybe you can also potentially get shiny, shiny like muscular sorcerer, that'd be really, really cool. But yeah, we're just going to keep on spinning and I think we're going to need a minimum of 200, 300,000 gems spent on this video just so we can actually get a secret. But you never know, our luck might be really, really good. Alright, okay, we spent like three, 4,000 gems so far and got absolutely nothing. Okay, this is... This is a. Uh, this is actually incredible how bad how bad the look is. Okay, we, okay, we got a we got a unique not a unique a mythic. It's not bad. If we get shiny mythic, that'd be really really cool. But of course we don't. And we have two more of the three more actually. And I, to be honest, I don't think we're gonna get anything. Looks like our look is very very bad. And um, that's not bad. I will take it. Okay, we got a, yeah muscle sorcerer. Not bad, not bad. And the last and final one. Uh, definitely gonna get shafted. Yep. No no mythic. Nothing. To be honest, okay, we've got two mythics out of that. Not bad at all. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. To be honest, we're not going to do anything with them unless they've got, like, really good stats. AA. To be honest, mine has basically nearly similar stats to all these guys, so there's no point. So all I'm going to do, guys, now is basically I was just AFK grinding. Right now, I have multiple, multiple accounts in the AFK chamber because, as you know, you're going to need lots of all accounts in this game to actually get gems so we can get the secret. So I have multiple accounts. So I've got multiple accounts in the AFK grinder, just the AFKing gems for me. So that means we're going to have a lot a lot of gems in a few hours slash like a few days okay right now we've done everything except for the last chapter which we are going to do just right now real quickly all right okay wave one is complete already okay we're just gonna place our units our beast our beast one is really really good our beast um sorcerer Th these also require like a flying unit luckily we have this guy here so that's the guy's kind of carrying us a little bit with the flying units okay the flying units are already getting placed which is not good because we don't have a thousand yet all right there we go is that gonna be enough <laughs> He does 54 damage. That is awful. Okay, we're gonna do about another one here. He doesn't. He doesn't even ta can't even target the flying ones. So we're just gonna upgrade this guy once here. Should be able to kill him. Perfect. All right, and now we should be good. We're gonna place another beast sorcerer here, and we should be good now. We can upgrade our boomers and everything. Looks like these guys have escaped. So we're gonna have to place this guy here and just upgrade him to a decent amount. We should be able to be good now. We should be good. The stuff that we have, I don't even know if we'll be able to kill the the guy that's coming though the boss i'm just gonna place all of these guys here and just hope for the best because i don't even know if i'm able to kill the boss yet rockstar i don't think it's working okay it's working perfect but yeah okay never mind we'll be able to kill this guy it's just that if these guys don't die then it's gonna be a big big problem but yeah we'll be able to kill this guy no worries about that 
I am going to sell these guys and replace them somewhere that is better. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. And, okay, literally got 30 gems. We're going to go back straight to the lobby. And now it's for the real grind. I think I'm probably just going to grind lots of infinites and just do a lot of random stuff. Complete my challenges and stuff here. Uh, until we do get a decent amount of gems, probably do a bit of raids and stuff. I'm going to actually probably play the game properly, get, go to the trading section, get as many gems as possible, and I'll catch you guys when we have around 100 to 200,000 gems. Saying that, it just sounds like a lot, but yeah, I'm going to do a lot, a lot of grinding, and I'll catch you guys once we do have that much gems. Alright guys, so I decided to spin off camera, and then this happened. Alright guys, so oh my god, I just seen the flare and it is a it's it's a it's a secret flare. Oh my god, we just got we got the secret. We got the secret. We got the rift sorcerer secret. Oh my god. That that is the most luckiest thing. I saved up so many, so many gems. 190,000, I think. I have around 190,000. Saved up so many gems and I got it in my third or fourth multi after that. That is crazy. Look at this guy. 10,000 of this guy exist. Bro, I feel so, so lucky. I don't even know. I don't even know how I got it in, in so little gems. Oh my god. Just, bro. Wow. Okay. I'm actually shocked. Thing is, we have 198,000. We so basically got so much gems for no reason. I grinded so, so much for literally zero, zero reason. Alright, but I want to see if I can, how I can evolve this guy here. 100% going to evolve him. And we need the dimension pendant, of course. And what do we need? How do we get the dimension pendant? We need some, okay, some star rainbows and some dark rifts, star dark rifts, and these, these I can always just buy with the, like, the insane amount of gems that I have, and that's literally about it. Uh, but yeah, let me just go and go to the challenges, just keep on completing t challenges until we do get this here. Bro, I'm actually so shocked that I got this already, I can't even, I don't even feel like it's real. Uh, he's a hybrid, so I'm gonna say bye-bye to my cursed archer. And I'm just going to start this. Um, I will do a full showcase at the end of the video on everything. Also, I'm probably going to buy a lot of spins with the gems that I have. Just so we can get a good trait on this guy. But I do want to evolve him first, of course. So I am just going to do this real quickly. Just do as many of these as possible. Get all the stars I need. So we can actually get this guy evolved. And yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Wow, getting those stars took so, so long, but finally we have the stars and we're going to evolve our guy. But first of all, we need to actually purchase this here, the Dimension Pendant, confirm and purchase. Oh my god, the dark, the dark stars take so, so, so long to get and we're going to just confirm this guy and we're going to evolve the Awakened Sorcerer. But actually before that, let me spin his uh, rank rerolls. Just before I forget, if this works the same as anime adventures, we should be- We've got 21% worthiness. I literally killed so many people, but only got this. I'm going to confirm. That was horrible. Do, do I- You know what, we're going to keep it, and I'm going to evolve him. Okay, we've got, we've got decent, decent. It's not that bad, but we're going to evolve him. And evolve. There we go. This guy looks insane. It says nine of him exist, but I doubt it. Look at him. He looks so, so clean. Oh my god, success. Imagine they actually failed. Um... But how much damage does he do now? Okay, he does 3,854 damage on placement. Okay, now he's got an S, B plus, B plus. Okay, that is really, really nice. Okay, but yeah, I am... Oh, I also need to trade reroll, actually. Okay, I'm getting off topic a little bit, but I do want to trade reroll this guy. And reroll. Okay, Hunter, reroll, critical, and brawler. Okay, we've got a double trait. Okay, what's critical? Okay, brawler is 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 brawler one is not bad. Okay, we've got ten percent damage plus critical one, critical two. We got twenty five percent crit damage. We're gonna keep that, you know. We're gonna keep that. I feel like this guy is super super lucky. But yeah, I do want to showcase this guy and showcase all of my other characters because I've basically completed the challenge already. I'm just gonna hop into an infinite, and there's no point of showcasing anyone else. I have this shiny here, but there's literally no need. I've just got these guys here, and I'm just gonna showcase them. I've already completed. The entire thing I've evolved, or the character that I really wanted to evolve. So I'm gonna just go in Windmill and go in an Infinite and confirm and start and just literally gather up so much cash just so I can showcase every single character. I, I have not yet actually even maxed out Gojo yet, 
So I'm super, super excited to max them out, try to evolve form and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna gather like oh, like tons and tons of like yen, and yeah, I'll catch you guys once I have enough to evolve everyone. All right, guys. So we've got enough now, and we've got 300,000, which should be enough. So I'm just gonna sell this person. I'm just gonna sell him, and I'm gonna sell him. And we're gonna place our guy Gojo straight off the bat. Look at his effect. Looks so so clean. On placement, he does 4,200 damage, which is amazing. And then upgrade him. Okay, first one, charged energy ball. Okay, it's very similar to what he has before, but he's still he's a hybrid. He is so so good. Hi hybrid. Goated, goated. So we can hit like air and like ground at the same time, which is amazing. Okay, so that's his uh, first move. This is by far the best character. Look at this guy, boom. And then, okay, piercing energy. Okay, things I don't like how it's just like, I don't know what this is called, but when you just hit in one diagonal line, it's so, so annoying. I wanted him to be full AoE, but like, it's, not, it's not bad, it's not bad. Like, he just hits him with, is this even, which one is this? Is this red or hollow purple? Okay, this is just blue. Okay, now it's just gonna be, I think this is hollow purple. Yep, hollow purple, still in one straight line, which is not that great. And then we're gonna upgrade him to full energy ball. Okay, full energy ball. He he does it's still not, like full AoE, but he's still better than just one straight diagonal line. And is he gonna use the move? Look okay, at yep, that is hollow. Like when you com like combines them both, and then I'm just gonna upgrade him. Void rift, and this is where he becomes full AoE. Oh my god, that's actually insane. Fifty-five thousand damage per unit, and we can place two of him. I'm guessing. Yeah, we can place two of him. So oh my god, that's actually insane. Full AoE is crazy. Look at that. That is goated, and he does critical damage, but yeah, this character, top, top character, look at him, he, he does so much damage, look at that, god, okay, that is insane. We, we, unfortunately, we're gonna sell him now, I will get to sell these two characters, this guy, of course, he's not, like, evolved, so he's not gonna do that much damage, his moves are decent, and I'm pretty sure it becomes full AoE too, once you, like, fully max him out, but he is very, very good, especially for a starter character, he is very, very clutch, and then just Curse Godly Chains, still very, very similar to his other move. And then, okay, chain barrage, that's why it becomes full AoE, and he is very, very good. And his max, 8.4 thousand, not bad at all. He is full AoE, so I'm not complaining at all. Let's just one more turn, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And we're gonna sell. And the last and final one, this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy's meant to be Megami. We're gonna hit him with this, the, the dog move. You've seen it many, many times. The wind cutter, you've also seen it many, many times too. And then wind gust, it's not bad. Could be a bit better to be honest, and then we're just gonna curse seeds. Okay, now he becomes like a diagonal line, which is not that good, I'll be honest. Not too great. And then is he full AoE at the end? Oh, he, he's literally the only character that's not full AoE. That's that's not bad to be honest. By far the best character, of course, is Gojo. He is very very nice. But yeah, guys, that's been the video of me starting over and obtaining every single unit. We started off from level one with just one epic unit. And now we have every single new JJK unit plus my guy Gojo. If you did make it to the end of the video, I am going to be giving away this unit here. We're going to be giving this away when he becomes tradable, which is which is around like 9 days-ish. So just comment down below your username. I'm going to be picking one random person, giving away literally the probably one of the best units in the game. So make sure to comment down below. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.